What is up guys, it's Luke back with another Ravens Fan Reacts video and today I'm watching Lamar Jackson's first half highlights of this 2019 season. Um, and I also want to mention that I plan on going to the Bills or Ravens at Bills game later in the season with my fiance and I'm going to take a bunch of videos, pictures of that and hopefully I'll post something cool on my YouTube channel so definitely subscribe if you want to see that. Um, but without further ado, let's get into Lamar Jackson's first half highlights of the 2019 season. I remember this play to Marquise. The DB just kind of fell, and then you know, if Lamar gets any or if Marquise gets any open space, he's gone. He's probably faster than Lamar. And then here's the second one. Look at he's just burned. He's got a good like three strides on him, and then he catches him there. But I think that was Minka Fitzpatrick both times, who's now on the Steelers, who's playing a lot better, but. I mean, in this game, he got burned by Marquise a couple of times. And then Willie Sneed, another burn. This game was scary. I mean, we kind of could tell the Dolphins weren't really a team this year, but yeah. We usually kind of blow out the Dolphins, but this was just sad. There's Miles Boykin, first touchdown. I think he has two this year. And there we go, Mandrews, another one. This was another game where Lamar literally exited in like the third quarter because we were just winning by so much. And then we got our fullback Patrick Ricard, our fullback and our defensive lineman. Even though we got, we just signed two new defensive linemen, uh, Justin Ellis, and I'm not sure what the other guy's name is, but I wonder if that is, it's probably has something to do with our Bernard Pierce injury. But I think he'll be back soon, so we'll have to see. Taking off, keeping himself, getting, looked like 15 yards or so. Fake screen. Mandrews wide open in a nice, looks like a corner out. Wide open for a touchdown. No one was on him, literally. He just walked in. Let's see another. That's, that's Mandrews. He fumbled it. But he recovered the fumble himself. That's why he's called Mandrews. This was honestly a pretty scary game. Um, but, you know, we, we ended up getting the win. So, nice run there. They were uh, playing. They were stopping our air attack pretty well this game. So, we did have to run a decent amount. And then Hayden Hurst gets his against the Cardinals. Nice touchdown there. They just, a lot of times when our tight ends score, they just kind of sit in the middle of the field and find an opening, an open space in the coverage, and then Lamar finds him. Oh, God, he fumbled there, but I'm pretty sure he was down. And that was a pretty sick run. Maybe like 25 yards, I don't know. But Mandrews again with a little hurdle. <laughs> he likes the hurdle. He had a sick hurdle last year. And then this was the catch to pretty much end the game, to ice the game. Great throw, great catch by Lamar and Marquise to just end the game right there. Chew out the clock, get a first down. This scared me. He started running the opposite way, but I mean, he, they just can't get him. Look at that. He turns like a guaranteed sack from any other quarterback into eight yards. It's ridiculous. He feels the pressure again. Season opening, and then what he was actually—I'm gonna pause it right here to explain something. What he was doing right there, I actually, uh, I like watched an interview with Lamar after this game, which he was explaining what he was doing when he was putting his hands up. He was telling uh, Mark Andrews, I'm pretty sure, in the end zone that he was past the line of scrimmage, so he can't throw the ball anymore. So it's just something cool. He had the time to kind of put his arms up and be like, "I can't pass, bro. I'm sorry." And then look at that deke. Oh my god, that juke was ridiculous. Broken ankles. Nick Boyle with the hurdle. Our tight ends like the hurdle. That. That should have been a ridiculous sack. Wow. That DB's got to feel like an idiot. <laughs> for letting that reception happen. All right, thank you, JP and Bill. 
Then there's one to Marquise. Like, some of these catches are ridiculous. He's such a good receiver. And he's not even, like he said all season, he's not 100%. He's close, but he's not. Oh, God. This was a scary. This was a scary one. This was the one game where Lamar was kind of panicking. But, again, it was early in the season against a great team. So, the fact that we were pretty close. And this, oh, my gosh. He's just too good. When he starts running, he's just too good. And then he brought it within three, but yeah, we lost the game, unfortunately. First Lamar Jackson run, holy crap. If he didn't get tripped up there, he could have probably took it all the way, to be honest. We've seen him do it before. Let's see this play. Feel some pressure right down the middle. Who's that, Boykin? That's his second touchdown in the season. Let's go. Fake handoff. Oh, there's lots of pressure. He feels it. He's running up the middle. Gets a first out of nothing. Easy freaking 12 yards. Ooh, wide open. High point pass. N nothing prettier than that. Right to our tight end. Beautiful. Nice broken tack by s tackle by Sneed. And... He's in for the touchdown. I forgot about this part. Oh, it's because I stopped watching the game because we were getting blown out. That's why. Yeah. Uh, Steelers versus the Steelers. Hayden Hurst. Another sort of hurdle. <laughs> Sometimes they just like leap with their body weight. I don't I don't know. Um, Andrews with another hurdle. Takes three defenders to bring him down. And then that was a great... That was such a great catch touchdown by Marquise. I think that's like his fourth, honestly. Fourth or fifth. It's ridiculous for a rookie. He's got six or seven now. I think six touchdowns, but. And then this Lamar Jackson run. This is the first time we played the Bengals. At least once a game, Lamar has a big run like that, which is awesome. And he's really good at not taking big hits somehow. Like, that was probably the worst hit he got of the game. And they give him a touchdown for that. He's such a beast. He just attacks, like John Harbaugh says, every play is attacking. He's trying to just get to the end zone no matter what, even if he has to do it himself. Which is ridiculous. Dropping back. Nice little dime to a wide open Mandrews. Nice. Good play there. Who's this to? Seth Roberts. Ooh, I remember this. He just wouldn't go down. Just kept breaking tackles. And then Lamar's taken off. Feels the pressure. Great, great dive. That was not... He was way down. But that was a great slide. He normally doesn't do that, so good for him. <laughs> Let's see. He's slinging it. Boyle, push him for the first. Boyle's a beast. And honestly, he's stepped up this year catching the ball-wise because usually we've only used him as a blocker, really. You'd have a few receptions a year, but he gets so more, so many more this year. That's a great reception by Boykin on a nice little streak. Lamar can't touch this. Gets the first. That was a little scary. <laughs> Watching that live when he felt like that, but he's all good. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but they couldn't get him. <laughs> Lamar, such a beast. He ran a lot versus the Seahawks because obviously their pass defense is pretty good. Then a nice, nice first to Mark. Who's this going to? He's, is he going to take off again? Nope, he's passing it. That was to Hurst, I think. Yep. I remember that. Good job, Hayden Hurst. Getting his catches, like I said. Lamar, again, in for the touchdown. Just unstoppable. 
the the way that he can score on the ground is just it's like it's unlike anyone else it's ridiculous he's a beast And then look at this. Should have been sacked for sure. Turns into freaking like 15 yards. Ridiculous. This looks like a... Okay. A little sidearm pass to Boyle. Boyle's just going to dive. And then this was the last game, the Patriots game. That was our first drive, which was scary, but Marquise came up clutch with the diving catch. And then... Blown coverage by the Patriots. <laughs> Gus Edwards puts the pancake block on him, and Lamar's got a little bit of showboating. It was great. Watching that live Sunday night, oh my God, there's nothing better. Lamar takes it again. 20 yard gain, ridiculous. Our defense played so well against the Patriots too, honestly. Um, that muffed punt by Cyrus Jones, though, we actually waived Cyrus Jones. We got rid of him probably because of that muffed punt, which is just sort of sad. We brought in T. Anthony Miller or something, Anthony something, as our new kick returner. He's a chief player. He used to be a chief player. And, yeah, like I said, we got two new defensive linemen who are apparently going to be good and help, help us a lot. Uh, Nick Boyle, that was his first touchdown. That was great to watch, too. He tried to do a dance, but he just couldn't. <laughs> then we got Mark Ingram. Tiptoeing on the freaking sideline like a beast. Honestly, Mark Ingram. Such a good signing. 15 mil, 5 mil a year for an amazing running back. And then this, we got to give it to Orlando Brown, I'm pretty sure. Literally pulling in Lamar. Or Ronnie Stanley, actually. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's the end of the highlights, but Ronnie Stanley there just pulling him into the end zone. We'll see here in a second. Got a stupid ad. I'll have to cut this out. Is this the end? Yeah, it's the end pretty much. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want more of this kind of content. Like I said, I'm going to the Bills or the Ravens versus Bills game. Ravens at Bills um, with my fiance, and that's going to be a blast. It's going to be my first Ravens game. And uh, I can't wait. Can't wait to get some videos of all the players and stuff, pictures. It'll be great. And I'll definitely upload that to my YouTube channel. So stay tuned, guys. Peace.